Šiaulių universitete svečiavosi delegacija iš Tokio Metropolitano universiteto. Dvi dėstytojos, universiteto pasaulio lyderių programos atstovės ir trys programoje dalyvaujančios universiteto studentės. This time we brought our student from Global Citizen Arts, Global Leadership Program. They are trying to promote TMU to other our partner universities in the world. So this time they chose to come to Shaole to explain about TMU and Japan. The Global Leadership Program is a comprehensive program. Um, it's open to the, any of the students from the, any departments and, and who are willing to um, the interact with uh, people from different countries or you know, to learn about the international, uh, the global business skills or communication skills can uh, participate in our program. And then um, throughout the year, they learn how to communicate with um, the institute overseas and then how to promote our culture and country and then our university. So it is uh, the mission of our uh, the program is to promote our university and also um, to have more active uh, the student exchange, uh, the faculty development exchange as well. <laughs> Studentės iš Japonijos savarankiškai paruošė savo universiteto pristatymą. Surengė du seminarus Šiaulių universiteto studentams. Vienas iš jų vyko Šiaulių universiteto bibliotekoje, kitas – socialinio mokslo fakultete. Because we had a relationship between the Šiaulių university and the TMU, but we have no, no exchange student yet. So we want to know more about the Shaori University and how is the Shaori life. And we don't have enough information about Lithuania and Shaori. So we want to know more about Shaori and Lithuania. And I want to make many friends from Shaori. So that's why I come to here. I want to. Uh, Shaori University student to come to our university to study abroad and so we want to send my university student to Shaori University. We want to show you our university and our culture and also I want to learn about your country and your school and your culture. Shaolių universiteto studentai išgirdo daug įdomios informacijos apie Japoniją Šios egzotiško šalies kultūra sužinojo apie galimybę studijuoti Tokijo Metropolitano universitete, apie studijas ir studentišką kasdienybę Tokijoje. Tokio Metropolitano University is located in Tokyo, but not in a big center of Tokyo, uh, just outside of the center. And it's, um, go, uh, it's run by Tokyo Metropolitan government. So we are a public university and we have three different campuses. Our university is located in Tokyo. It's Japan, uh, Japanese capital. So you can uh, study many, many, many things. So uh, technology, mathematics, and also social uh, study, and uh, science, health science, and, and so on. Studentams ypač patiko Japonių surengti praktinė užsėmimai, kaligrafijos seminaras ir užsėmimas, kurio metu Japonės mokė lankstyti origamius. Origami – tradicinis japoniškas popieriaus lankstymo menas. Origami įsivadinami ir patys lankstiniai. We have presentation to introduce our university and have activity of Japanese culture. Uh, for example, calligraphy. We enjoy Japanese uh, writing picture. So uh, many Shaori University students write your name in Chinese picture in Japanese, so they can uh, they enjoy so our Japanese culture. And second day we have activity for for the paper origami. So they may cry, cry, so write bats. So, and we made sushi, so they enjoy eating Japanese traditional food. 
if it's uh, difficult to, to, to do, for example, origami? Yeah, it's so difficult, but it's also very fun for us. So because Shara University students are so kind for us, so uh, my English is so pro English, but they can understand and so compare compare with us. So very we have a very good time. You are very good teachers. Yeah, thank you very much. Origami langstamas ir kaligrafija Japonų mėgstami laisvalaukio užsėmimai. Devinio lygmetės studentė prisipažino, kad grojimas instrumentų ir kaligrafija jos hobby. Weekend I, I play instrument in orchestra or I, I do practice uh, calligraphy. My hobby is to practice calligraphy, so it's difficult for uh, foreign students, but um, we Japanese students uh, teach, uh, learn how to write calligraphy in elementary school. Japonių studentių prašėm papasakoti ir apie jų aprangą. This is a kimono. Uh, this is uh, for the summer season. Every Japanese uh, people have a uh, kimono? Um, long time ago, the, uh, all of Japanese people were wearing the kimono, but now we are wearing like uh, your country people, but uh, many people can uh, wear kimono, how to wear and how, how to work. It's a, it's a little bit difficult to walk, so every job. But there are some, some traditional uh, occasions when you're wearing it. Yeah, that's right, that's right. In a traditional st uh, situation. For example, uh, in our country, the New Year is the most important traditional day, tra traditional holiday. So we, many of Japanese people are wearing kimono in the uh, New Year. Uh, young people also. Yeah, that's right. I'm very satisfied with their work. Actually, they worked really hard throughout the year. They prepared this presentation and then the promotion video, um, taking a lot of time. And then actually, they didn't know anything about how to make a video when they started this program. So they learned that from the professional faculty how to use a video camera and then how to get the permission from the university to make this video. And then even like a presentation, they they have done a lot of research about the school. So it was like a, everything was like a learning experience and a learning process. So um, I think they're also very satisfied with their work as well. I think we had a great time here. Nors viešinės lankėsi tuo metu, kai Lietuva dar stinkdė šaltis, jos nuo širdžiai dalyjosi malaniais įspūdžiais. This is my first time here and uh, I didn't have much idea about here, but uh, yeah, actually it's really cold, especially today maybe. Yeah, but uh, we today we have sunshine and it's good. My students and I agree that it's very freezing. We, we were so, so surprised at the, the amount of snow and an ice here. It's free, very freezing outside, but the people, Shaolin and the Lithuanian people are so heartwarming. So that was our impression. Even like the weather is very cold, but people are so warm and then very kind, caring, thoughtful, and we love it here. And then actually one of my students wanted to come here, as come back here as an exchange student. And then, as a result of this presentation, um, the activities, some students contacted us how to come to Tokyo Metropolitan University as an exchange student. So I think we got a, you know, our mission is completed. <laughs> I went out of churches and hills of crosses and go sightseeing uh, around Shaolai and 11th of March and we we were in Vilnius and I experienced the uh, event uh, in Vilnius. What do you learn about uh, learn about uh, Lithuanian culture? Is it very dif um, different from yours? Culture, mm, it's different, but 
some kind of common common points. Europeans people are uh, more active and direct. So this is first visit to Europe. So, um, but uh, shall sh people and the Lithuanian people are not so mm, direct. Mm, not not so so direct. So the Japanese also shy and <laughs> it's common point. I think. Lithuanian people and the students, it's so warm for us, so very, 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 we are so fascinated, Shaolin University and Shaolin students and Lithuanian people. There I have so many ex exchange students in the dormitory and they are very excited uh, them live in the Shaolin University. So I really want to come to study Shaolin in the future. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Are you planning something? Yeah, now I'm just planning because I'm really interested about the uh, art faculty and I'm re I study in architecture now, so I think art faculty is really interesting for me. Japanese student Shafavo, kasdien Yonis Rupinasi, Shaolin Universiteto studentas. Programavo pakankamai intensyvi, ar ne? Taip, man, man teka važiuoti į kryžių kalną aplankyti, joms paliko įspūdį, visi tie kryžiukai, kiek jų buvo daug. Taip pat aplankėme lapės skulptūrą prie Talkšos ežero ir joms be galo didelį įspūdį paliko tai, kad yra ežeras apšalės ledu ir jos galėjo pastovėti ant ledo. Tai buvo joms neįtikinama, neįtikėtina. Taip, paprasti džiaugsnai, ne? Taip, mums atrodo kasdieniška, joms tai yra nauja. Panašus esam ar labai skirtingi? Manau, kad skirtingi. Bet to pačiu galbūt ir šiek tiek panašus, pavyzdžiui. Ir laikimas, jis, tarkim, atstumo. Tik susipažinu, su pradžiu, tiek mes, tiek jie laikome su šiuo atstumo. Bet jeigu vien, daugiau pabendraujam ir greičiau pradedam prisileja iš žmogų. Ir galbūt va tai yra panašu, nes tiek Lietuvoje, tiek Japonijoje, kaip pastebėjau, taip yra.